The Indian audience starved of quality films, however, the best of contemporary world cinema was on the screen at the 25th International Film Festival held in Calcutta at the beginning of the year. This was the first festival in the film buff city after the death of the illustrious filmmaker Satyajit Ray. Maestros like Ray and Michelangelo Antonioni. Despite failing health, Antonioni travelled to the city to a tumultuous reception. The festival closed with Ismail Merchant's directorial debut, In Custody. Sensitivity and mood permeates the film embellished with haunting guzzles. In artistic variety, Indian theatre had perhaps more to offer than cinema this year. The grey eminence of Indian folk and contemporary theatre, Habib Tanvir, transcreated William Shakespeare's Elizabethan drama, The Midsummer Night's Dream, into Kam Devka Sapna, Basant Rituka Apna, in Chhattisgarhi dialect. <laughs> Theatre aficionados also saw the legendary Indian playwright Ibrahim Alkazi's two new plays, Chekhov's Three Sisters and Peter Schaffer's The Royal Hunt of the Sun, performed by students of his own newly set up drama school, The Living Theatre Group. Everything I do. But away from all the seriousness of life, the Indian teen crowd this year swayed and clapped to the sound of rock music at Bombay's Brabourne Stadium. The star of the evening was the 33-year-old Canadian rock star Brian Adams. India had arrived firm and proper on the map of touring artists from abroad performing live shows. But bigger Indian achievements on the world scene were still in store.